Katie, you're no help at all. I'm gonna need that wheelbarrow. Hey guys, I just got back from town, me and Levi. We went and grabbed the other bags of soil that I needed for the garden. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna have a, my sunglasses are sitting. I think I'm gonna build two more beds. The only thing is, I'm going to have to figure out I don't want to have, you know, Katie won't be a little in the yard for that much longer, but she will be out there for another couple of months, which means they have to have some kind of fencing around. We got home and uh, I bought the candy and stuff for the kids' baskets. Uh, Caden is older now. Um, you know, there's not those little dollar toys and $2 toys in the, if you guys, go down those Easter aisles where the baskets are already made. I always make my kids the grandbaby's baskets. Um, I even made the kid, the boys their baskets when they were little. I didn't ever go and just buy pre-made baskets. And what was most horrible today at Cleveland Walmart were the dollar bunnies were gone. Um, we did find on an end cap some dollar twenty-four bunnies that were fairly decent in size. I don't even see the box with them. Leave us. Oh, he threw bags over there. Um, but I got Caden a men's Bible study devotional for men. And then Elora and Kate, uh, Connor just got some random, uh, a gift, just a, not an expensive gift. And, um, then their candy and then Levi got candy and I'm going to put their, Tina made the most adorable little paper bunnies on her. Uh, her channel the other day, but I just get the dollar uh, buckets um, because they use them to hunt the eggs. Adorable, but I like the buckets because my grandbabies are older and they're going to run and they're going to fight to gather eggs. So they need their buckets. And um, so I am going to uh, do that. But I do want to do a couple of gifts and goodies real quick and show y'all uh, real fast. Give me one second. We've got to stop slurping. And why did you finish your drink if we haven't had lunch? We got hearts today um, while we were in town. He wanted chicken tenders, and I just got a leg and a thigh. Um, oh, and gizzards. I love livers, fried chicken livers and gizzards from hearts. But the livers has started giving me indigestion during the middle like an hour or so later i start having uh, indigestion. Gives you indigestion yeah the liver does so now i get just gizzards anyway this is from beth beth sent these adorable little sunflower potted plants they're i mean they're they're artificial but isn't that adorable with the Looks like the wood, uh, looks like my tree trunk outside. I love it. it. It came two in a box. So these are from Beth. And Beth, these are adorable. And then she sent this for Elora. It's a fairy garden kit. It's a little unicorns and a little castle. So Elora will love that. I'm sh Honestly, I think she could do it here somewhere. But I think Steph can probably find her a really pretty place to set this up and like really make it something like a little focal point in their backyard somewhere. Um, I got to thinking, I have a bird uh, bath. The, you know, like for years you've seen them in people's yards. That concrete is so heavy. It comes in two pieces to stand and the big, the round. I can't keep water in it. I forget it gets off over there and then it stuff falls in it and it looks nasty and you gotta clean it out. I never keep it as a bird bath. But um Steph could take this and let her build this little fairy garden in that bird bath. That would be adorable. And she could she could have the bird bath because it's just over in the corner by the barn right now and we never use it. So Beth, thank you. I love the little sunflowers. I love them. And I know that Elora will love this little Fairy garden. All right, also, this came from Maureen, and it's made by Hands of Haiti. And we do need to pray for Haiti, guys. Uh, 
you prayer warriors need to pray for Haiti. I know there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, these are beautiful. There was two of them. I can't wait to put them on my... You know what? Even on the side of my barn when it gets painted, it would be pretty with one or two hang with them hanging. But look at this. Is that not gorgeous? It is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And then there's one more. Is that not beautiful? You can see a tree, the tree trunk here going up. Or right, uh, the stem to the flower. Anyway, you want to look at it. It's beautiful. It's, they're just gorgeous. Maureen, thank you. They're, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I'm saying gorgeous too many times, it sounds silly, but they're beautiful. And guys, if you want to check it out, the site is Hands of Haiti. It says, Hands of Haiti was started to create jobs in Haiti. Sadly, 80% of the children um, in the orphanages have a, have a living parent or relative who simply can't provide. So they do have families. These children have families, but their families cannot provide for them. Um, your purchase is literally changing lives and keeping families together. So, yeah, they have a Facebook page, um, facebook.com Haiti Hands, and then Haiti Hands, um, Hands of Haiti. Anyway, it is, um, even if you can't purchase anything, you can still change lives by sharing our page with others. You can help make an impact. These two things came, and I wanted to thank you guys, Beth and Maureen. They're beautiful, and I love them, and we thank you for it. And I'm going to show y'all the garden once I get everything in it in a little bit. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I never did get to my pot yesterday, so I'm going to do those now. And I never did put, I've got the other bags of soil, but I haven't put them in yet. And, um, looks like a cat's been digging in there. Dad, damn it, that means I'm gonna have to watch for poop. Ugh, cats. Um, I also wanna put this rail up and hopefully, maybe, I hope I have another one that can go on the other side. But if I don't, it's fine. At least I'll get this side, cause this side is wonky. Um, but I'm fixing to pull my wheelbarrow out of there and bring it over here and start dipping, dipping start dip uh oh my gosh start uh emptying these planter bags and then i'm gonna get my other garden cart and go get the soil and bring it out so give me one second to get all this pulled together she's no help all right i've got three pots in there of the, these planting bags and about half this bag of potting mix and this is a potting mix that's made for containers so it's got stuff in it um which this potting soil that i every these bags were in stuff that was made for containers and I don't even know if I had to do this. I feel like it couldn't have hurt because I feed my plants with miracle Grow. The, um, the concentrate that you pour the cap full in the two, two gallon water jug. And I do that once a week for pretty much the entirety of their growing life and when, even when they start producing once a week I do it. it smells good like fresh dirt I'll put a little bit more of this in
losing it. I was using this rake, but it's easier to do with my hands and just clean my fingernails later. I don't have nails on anymore as it got closer to summer. It's just too much going on out here for me to keep putting the nails on. show y'all the easiest way for me to do it is to sit it here and plop it in get as much in there yeah yep that's that's it that's all I do it's about two or two inches from the top I just don't want to become too boring. Like, well, that's boring. Maybe me rambling gets boring. I'm rambling now. I can't help it. I'm a rambling man. Made a lot of stops. I'm going to kill it for a few minutes and come back in a minute. That didn't make sense at all. I'm going to kill it and come back in a few minutes. These are 1 by 12s and they're filled up to about 10 inches of soil. And that's what I've always used. I've never filled them to the top. Um, would they do better if I filled them to the top? I don't know because I feel like they've always done me wonderful. But... Um, I've put one whole bag over there and I've emptied some of the bags that I eat. There was three bags. Yeah, one, two, there's three. There was three bags from the soil and three grow bags that I didn't need. Um, I don't remember what I put in on something toward the end of the year last year, I guess. I don't remember what they were, but I dumped those in there. So that built up the soil some and I've done stirred that one around over there, but you can see where my there's some ant poison right there rolled up in the bag, but that's my tomato cages and that's in a hole. I need to, my next bag I open will use a half a bag in there and that should bring it up to level. And then I'll put the other bag here. I've got a little bit of wheat and weedy, weeding to do in that corner right there. The chickens were in here this morning. I noticed they d dug up real deep down and literally were pulling up landscape fabric you can see it there's some right there there's some grass and then there's some black landscape fabric they were pulling up as they dug oh, there's a big piece right there so um it, but the gate was open I, I left the gate open last night so anyway I'm going to get this done I've gone over and got the so proud of buddy so so proud of him I'm sure he's got a video, so I'll let him show that, but I am so proud of him. But when I went over there to see what he had accomplished, then Steph brought me the veggies that she was giving me, and she got me, I've already talked about it, I think, but she got me, hold on. She saved me, where are my glasses, my sunglasses? She saved me, I'm having to squint to look at you. Three, um, she called them something and I said what were those and she goes like the rise and shine the upright so it's the squash plant that grows up like a like a stalk in the middle I think and squash come grow off of it she got she has three of those and then I think she said three zucchini and six regular squash and I got squash seeds because I in the new planters is where I'm gonna put the squashes these things need to go on the ground because they're yellow they should have been in the ground a week or more ago. Um, the stuff I bought today is really pretty and bright green, and you can see that it's you know still real healthy. But this is yellow, which is not bad. It'll turn greener as it, it gets the nutrients from the ground um, and out of the hothouse or the, the greenhouse and into the dirt and the full sun. It'll they'll they'll be pretty. Hopefully they'll be pretty. But um. 
thing is, I was going to do the new planters for my squash. Um, you're supposed to rotate your crops. And I had squash in this first one here and squash over there in that one. And then at that end, I had tomatoes and a couple of squash on the other side and another couple of tomatoes and a couple of bell peppers um, all down there. But squash was here. And I'm going to plant corn. Um, I used to love it when I had my garden over there and I would do that one row of corn. You, you know, you didn't get just one small row of corn. You, you know, you, you might get... 15 or 20 ears of corn from from a, a small row but it was always exciting to know that me and my boys were sitting there eating a pork chop with the corn on the cob that i grew in my garden so i thought you know what i'm gonna do a um some corn i think on this whole this whole length right here all the way down from this end to that end i'm gonna do corn um there was a saying you uh, put four kernels in the hole, one for the, one for the something, one for the crow, one for the worm, and one to grow. I can't, I can't remember the saying now, but anyway, you put four kernels of corn a wives tale I guess but you put four kernels of corn per hole and I was gonna do that till to the very end I don't know how many that'll give me but I was gonna do that and then on that side I was gonna put all my tomatoes and then I've got three bell peppers and the two celery stalks that step I've got three bell peppers of my own and two green and one red and then the little celery stalks that Jamie brought so all of that's gonna go in today. And I just feel really bad because the the squash is gonna have to, it can sit out in the sun. It can sit right here in this, you know, I'll sit it to the side inside the garden and close the gate. But I'm gonna have to build my um, planters tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna have time this evening before it's dark, get this done. I'm rambling, cause I don't wanna work. All right, I got my cucumbers in. I haven't watered them yet, but they look adorable. Very healthy. I got my cucumbers and my bell peppers um, and my tomatoes at this little florist in Cleveland. Uh, she's, it's called Vanny's Blooming Garden. Vanny. V-A-N-N-I-E. And um, today, her daughter was helping her. I've never met her daughter before. And didn't know that that was her daughter until she said, Mama, where do you want these? And I was just like, she, there was flowers everywhere, but she did not have squash. But I didn't know that Steph was going to have squash, too. I knew Steph had some zucchini, and I knew she had some of the upright squash, but I didn't know she had some crookneck squash. Um... But she, but Vanny was out of squash and she said he told her that. So I always thought that Vanny grew her own stuff like Steph with the, cause she does have a big old greenhouse. And, um, but she doesn't, her vegetables, she may do some of her own flowers and stuff, but her vegetables come from, uh, you know, somewhere else. I don't know if they're uh, like the Bonnies or Um, something else. I don't, I'm just trying to think that her did these, uh, see, like at Walmart, they sell Bonnie's. This is the celery that, and you see how I've made, you can see a berm all the way around it. That way, when I water, the water will stay on the plant and not just water everything where it's not needed. I do that to every one of them. They have like a circle around them and the plants down in it. But uh, the peppers. I don't know 
it doesn't actually say it unless California Wonder. I think that's just the name of the blue of the bell pepper. So there's no name on that actual tag. But um anyway, now I'm getting my tomatoes in. Yeah, that's just the name of it because this is the early girl is what I, I wanted the um there's a beef steak. They didn't have she didn't have any. And there was something else that I was looking for. I can't remember now. But these are better boys or something like that. Anyway, these are early girls, and that's what I ended up with. And uh, this one, she's pretty and green, but she may not make it because, you know, you have to sort of squeeze the bottoms and pull at the same time as you're getting them out. And I squeezed and pulled, and she sort of came out with this little bit of stuff around her root, but not all of this. Now, I did did get it out of the, um, I did get it out of the, uh, it's hard to do this one-handed, of the little tray, but, um, and I'll make a little berm around it. and put it all around her, but um, I don't know if she'll make it or not, because she sort of just completely pulled away from, she had a little clump of root, but not, but they all have, she's pretty good. She's, yeah, she looks good. She's got a good, she, she just wants to flop over. I may have to put a stake around her right now, like a little stick or something beside her until she gets big enough to put the cage and get that done and then um pick up all my stuff out here water everything and uh go check on that lumber and i will see y'all in a little bit actually you know what i may be finishing this out for the night so i'm gonna say it now i love you guys god bless you and i'll see you tomorrow all right my corn is in my tomatoes are in, my bell peppers are in. Look at this dadgum chicken. <sighs> um, right now, my sprinkler over there is hitting both sides of the, as you walk through, but it's not hitting you can see where the wet is barely touching that back planter. So I'm going to give it about five more minutes. Of I'm going to give it a total of 15 minutes and then I'm going to put it down there on that end. I'm happy I got that much done. I put staffs up here for right now. I think they need some sun, which they're not going to get sun right there, but I didn't want them to get any more water because they're pretty soaked right now. So. I'm going to uh, work on those beds tomorrow. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.